time for us to do what the good Lord would refer to as a cleansing of the wicked. And what my brother George, God rest his soul, used to call a 100% Alabama ass kicking. Rob, it is your turn to ask first. So uh, I will let you uh, ask Joan any question you want. Well, you know, in all fairness to Joan, I think there is a, a lot more questions that she may have of me, and I would like to answer any of those at this point. The thing that I would like to ask Joan is she has, she has taken it upon herself to not delve into issues, not work on issues with this campaign, but to spend a great deal of time at the different county agencies trying to dig up dirt on me. She has been unsuccessful. She has uh, made things up in order to make this possible. And given the fact that of the things that I have done for her over the years as a friend, if she honestly believes any of the nonsense that she's perpetrated out there regarding marijuana glow, grows and, and things like that, um, uh, false claims to the federal or the uh, Fair Political Practices Commission and, uh, and different things that she's taken a part of. I think that's a really good question, Rob. And I want to tell you that you have been a wonderful friend. The last four years, it all started with the genetically engineered crop advisory committee. I saw discrimination and when I collected signatures, I was very surprised at people who are afraid. And what I've looked up, and I haven't done anything with what I found, is public record documents. And um, I'm, if I do it, I'm going to do it correctly. But Rob and I have voted, I would have voted differently on Friends of Cobb, I would have voted differently on Friends of Rattlesnake. I would have voted differently about the genetically ba genetically altered organism banned that was taken away. On almost every issue, I would have voted differently. And it, what it does is come down to issues and respecting the people who stand up to get their three minutes to talk and recognizing people that want to contribute but are considered... They're, they're patronized and they're interrupted and they are, they, they are not respected. And Rob, you have one minute to uh, rebut Joan's answer. There's not much to say. It's, it's generalization. There's no specifics. No one's been interrupted. No, nobody's been denied a voice. We have public meetings over and over and over ad nauseum about issues. Everyone's been able to speak. No one has been denied the opportunity to speak. Sometimes it goes on a little bit long, and they have to be cut short. At some point, it goes on and on. When we're talking about contrails, things that the county that has nothing to do with, yes, that, that does have to end at some point. But as far as folks not having a voice, that's just inaccurate. And Joan, you have one more minute. Okay. I would like to get more specific about Measure D. I would like to know if the board, if to your knowledge, the Board of Supervisors, you or the Board of Supervisors, or the Planning Director Rick Howell has uh, voiced opposition or asked people to uh, take a stand against Measure D, different groups or people. Um, John. So that, you were, you were allowed to rebut the question he asked of you. So oh. now you're ready. That is going to be your question to uh -huh. him. Yeah. No, no, that's my question to him. All right, so you yeah. didn't need the one more minute. Okay, so now we're on to Joan's question to Rob. Yes. The, the Board of Supervisors has not taken a position on Measure D. Rick Coel, as a planning director, has not taken a position on Measure D. He has come to answer questions at events uh, that, I've, that I'm aware of. He's answered questions as far as... Um, the, the uh, effects of Measure D, what, what it actually means, what Measure D is. He has not taken a position as a county employee. I, on the other hand, have, and I will. I'll do everything I can to defeat Measure D. It is, uh, it is to, to do damage, serious damage, to a culture in Lake County that I have enjoyed my entire life as a third-generation county resident, and I, I won't stand idly by while this town is ruined by a bunch of out-of-town dopers that want to come up here, raise marijuana for a profit, and then take their profit, leave us with the dump, 
for my grandchildren, I will not stand idly by. I'll put everything I have into it, my heart, my soul, my money, and my any resource that I have to make sure that Measure D is, de is uh, defeated. If, John, yeah. if that's clear. I'd like to say one more thing. I want to make sure that's clear. <laughs> Joan, you have one minute? Yes, I do want to say that um, the check for $2,000 for advertising, on the check it says Lake County Farmers. It does not say Lake County Green Farmers. But, but I understand that that it is Lake County Green Farmers, but the check does say Lake County Farmers. And there are names for the nine hundred and eighty five dollars that I don't I I really don't know for sure. They don't identify themselves as green farmers. Or Lake County citizens for responsible regulation. Thank Bob, you. Do you have one more minute to rebut that? There's not much left to say. Uh, she got hundred and fifty dollars from Tom Slate, who's the the uh, the uh, Contrail guy, $150 from another person up on Cobb uh, that, that, is, uh, that lives close by Bottle Rock Power, and $2,000 from the Lake, Lake County Green Farmers Marijuana Growers. So I can't make it any clearer than that either. I respectfully request that this entire board, the members of this audience, and the citizens of this county, completely disregard what Mr. Fitzgerald has said. There's a very simple reason why. Yeah. Take my word for it. Everything that has been said about my background is not true. And tell me if you think that I'm telling the truth or not. And tell me if you think that I'm telling the truth or not. The abuse of power when you're wearing a, a badge and wearing a gun cannot and should not be tolerated by any person in this room or anybody here in Lake County. And tell me if you think that I'm telling the truth or not. How about all these lawsuits pending against us? How much is that going to cost us? problems yet? Perhaps it's time to start thinking about a recall. Thank you for watching.